It's bourbonblog.com live. We are uh, live uh, every Saturday night right at this time. I'm Matty Rock joining us uh, live from uh, New Jersey. I'm Tom Fisher, and it is our pleasure to welcome to the show Lloyd Adewaye, wrestling legend. He's joining us live from uh, near Tampa, Florida. How's it going, Lloyd? Good. How you guys doing, man? Uh, I, I know it's a little cloudy over there in Jersey, ain't it, uh, Matty? Yeah, man. Like I said, weatherman's like, oh, we'll be fine. It'll be in the 60s and sunny. Nah. Nah. So. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. It was a little cloudy here in Tampa, but uh, you know, it's for somewhat the sun came out, but it's it's about eighty degrees. That's the best thing about it. Thank, thanks, thanks for hurting the ones you love, Usa. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Yeah, I just I just had a I just had to grind it, rub it in just a little bit, just a little bit. Made it made it to like fifty seven, fifty eight. Tomorrow tomorrow's supposed to sneak into the sixties, but we'll see. I'm skeptical. okay. <laughs> Well, you know where to find me if you want some good weather. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come join Lloyd for uh, for some good weather. Or uh, what's what's your signature wrestling move? What's what's the favorite one? Well, you know, our family is known, very well known for the Samoan drop. So, you know, we all use the Samoan drop and, you know, of course, splash off the top rope. But uh, there's no more splashes off the top rope for me. So I'll skip. I'll stay to the Samoan drops. <laughs> So my, now it almost though I don't really do lemon drop cocktails. It almost sounds like the Samoan drop should be a cocktail in itself. Is it also there a cocktail, or would it be? What do you think? Hey, 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 we can make that. That's possible. I like that idea. Look, you know, what, we we just, look what we just started, man. You know, we just created. Yeah. A cocktail. <laughs> you, you started. You introduced a new cocktail called the Samoan drop. Now, what would be in that to uh, to honor the family? What would be in that cocktail? Oh, man. I mean, it could be so many things. You know, I do like whiskey, of course, uh, you know, but some tequila, maybe, you know, a little something, you know, maybe uh, a little tequila lime and uh, let's say a little bit of sugar or something like that. Almost. I like, oh, it. That, that, I like that. it. All good. All good things. But something that'll make you drop. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's got to be something to hurt you, man. So, you know, so it's, of course, it's got to be bold. No, nothing for the meek, bro. No, I mean, one or two, it's got to be like the one, two, three count. One, two, three. Once you get off your bar stool, you're rocking. <laughs> so, again, uh, Lloyd's part of the uh, the famous Sons of Samoa and the Samoan wrestling family. Uh, the family started a, a, quite a while back. What, this dates back how many years? Oh, man, we're talking back, back in the uh, early 70s, maybe, uh, you know, uh, late, late, you know, what my dad started in 1970, so you know, and then it goes from there. From uh, High Chief Peter Maivia, my great uncle, he started a little bit before them. So I mean, the the family goes on and on, and we're just continuing the legacy that they built for us. As me being a second generation wrestler, we have the third generation already out. As my nephew Lance, the, the future on Hawaii, we have Jacob Fatu. We got all the third, uh, you know, uh, the third string is out. Now, only thing we're working on is the fourth string coming out. So hopefully, you know, that's not no time soon. But we're gonna work on that fourth generation. <laughs> that's amazing. This is, I mean, again, there are there are families of wrestling, but but one this big, this many generations. There's not many of these in, in wrestling that I'm aware of, or is there? Well, no, I mean, you have a lot of families uh, that are in the wrestling business. For example, the Hart Foundation, you know, the Hearts. You have the Von Erichs. Uh, let's see, you have uh, – there's, uh, there's so many of them. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's tons of them. I mean, but to say a, a true, true Samoan dynasty where – you got more than 10 family members in the wrestling business. We're actually the only one that has the most wrestling history, family in history in, in wrestling. I mean, right now we're actually with, I mean, I'm in counting right now. I'm counting even, you know, some of our family members that passed away in the, in the wrestling business. Uh, we're way over 19, almost 20. Right. This is, so, uh, I mean, there's no families that are that big in the wrestling business. I mean, you know, I do give props to all the other families like the Hearts, the Hearts, uh, the Von Erics. I mean, uh, you know, even have the uh, Malinkos, but there were just two of the Malinkos. I mean, there's so many of them, like I said, but to, to be a true Samoan, a true dynasty of wrestling, there, I mean, we are the true dynasty of professional wrestling. 
nothing this size, nothing uh, quite like it. Uh, how early do they start you in the family? I mean, I mean, I, you know, like, I mean, I know little kids like to wrestle, but how early do they really start you? <laughs> well, I mean, I started when I was 15. Okay, so, so they really that started. Was, um, that's serious. Yeah, yeah. My, my younger brother, Alpha Jr., which is my new former from WWF, uh, WWE, I'm sorry. Um, he started at 13. And it's a funny story how he started because we we trained actually trained him in, in Austria. We were on tour in Austria in 1998, I believe. And, uh, you know, he wanted to wrestle, of course. It was, it's in the blood. So me and my older brother, Samu, we actually trained him in a hotel room on a, on a mattress. And he was hating life. But, I mean, we, you know, he started at 13. His first wrestling match was in, uh, you know, Vienna, Austria uh, at 13 years old. So, I mean, you know, I'm not the youngest. I mean, they come younger. But, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, like I said, our, our fourth generation, uh, we can get them started young, too, and, and groom them right into it. I like it. I like it. So what's been? So what have you been up to uh, lately? That I know not probably going to be getting back on the road soon. What's uh, what's life looking like your way? Well, you know, with uh, the thanks of uh, you know, I, I give uh, uh, you know thanks to God and uh, you know for you know blessing me to be alive right now. You know, yeah. um, over the last year and a half, it's been a lot of things going on. You know, of course, we all have been going through things with this pandemic, with this COVID nineteen. Um, I mean, uh, we all went through it. Uh, I, I've had it last uh, December. I was in the hospital for almost 14 days. Uh, you know, wow. it was a 50-50 chance that they gave me. But, you know, God was by my side. He pulled me through it. As I'm here talking to you right now, living witness, you know, because uh, things happen that way. And, uh, you know, he, he just told me, he goes, hey, we're not, re we're not ready for you. You know, you got th bigger and better things to do on the world right now. So I, I thank God for giving me that opportunity and my family. Uh, you know, and just recently, um, on February the 24th, I just had a full left hip replacement. So that's been kind of tough right now, but you know I'm going through it. I'm walking right now. Uh, I'm supposed to be with a uh, walker, but you know what? I kicked the walker to the side. I said the only way I'm going to get better is to do it on my own, and uh, you know that's what I'm doing right now. You know I threw I threw the walker actually sitting over here in the corner, and I leave it there. And if I need it, I'll use it. But otherwise, I'm I'm walking and uh, you know just thanking God again uh, for giving me the strength to uh, be able to do, you know, walk in and be able to, you know, do what I'm going to do best and give you about maybe two or three months and uh, maybe four months tops. I I'm going to give it a little bit less, but I'm going to be out there doing stuff. I'm going to be out there back in the ring. I'll be doing a lot of uh, live uh, appearances. Um, I just got finished doing a wrestle stock for WrestleMania. They had a wrestle stock over here in Tampa, Florida. Just got finished doing that with a lot of legends. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter was there. You had no, uh, Kevin Sullivan. Uh, there were so many. You had uh, Terry Reynolds, you know, uh, from WWE. She's been married to uh, uh, Goldust. I mean, there were so many out there. You had Andrew Anderson, a good friend of mine. And we all know Andrew Anderson. You know, he's he's crazy, but you know what? He's got a good heart. And, I did you know, ask I you to punch him in the balls. I hope you did. Oh, you know what? I came close to it, but I couldn't get close to him enough. <laughs> oh, man. I'm 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 a little I'm a little sad about that, but yeah, that's yeah, all right. Hey, hey, Kevin hey, on two weeks uh, ago, there's always yeah. a round two. There's a round two. I, I'll see him soon. So you know what? Without any hesitation, he he won't even know it's coming. Trust me. <laughs> and this makes but, me happy. Uh, no, I'm a horrible person. Yeah. So this brings, this brings me great joy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'll be out there doing some, uh, you know, some wrestle, uh, you know, some uh, autograph sessions. I got some stuff going up in uh, Albany, New York. Uh, I just got some uh, confirmation that I will be doing, uh, uh, I guess it's the Bruiser Brody Wrestling Cup in Texas. So that will be in November as oh. well. So things are picking up, you know, slowly but surely. You know, I'm not trying to rush myself out there. But then again, you know, I got to continue moving and, and and getting this hip going so that way I can continue doing what I do best. That's that's awesome. Well, uh, we're glad that, uh, first of all, that uh, you survived. Everything's looking good for you from the COVID. And then uh, also uh, best wishes for healing and speedy recovery. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that so much. Yeah. It means a lot. 
Yeah, no, it's uh, it's good to have you. And everybody uh, who's watching, any questions for Lloyd uh, about wrestling, uh, maybe about some of his matches, whatever it might be, ask us down below. Make sure you take a chance to uh, like and uh, share this video. And when you do, we enter you in the drawing for that Janus Coffee Roasters uh, Bourbon Barrel Aged Coffee. And um, and you, so you, you like it. You like the whiskey. You enjoy some cigars. Right now, uh, you, you've just finished oh, your yeah. Which is, which is good. Maddie, Maddie's, uh, Maddie's nodding his head. He was, we were thinking Maddie might have a new idea for us on that apple a day thing, or maybe the cigar a day thing. <laughs> hey, yeah, what, what is that? You know what? That that's another jo joke too. Everybody, all the Samoans over the years, we, we all chill out with cigars. You you know how Rikishi is in Reno when they have their smokes and and Sam and everybody. So it, it is, man. It's amazing how cigars bring everybody together. It's, chill, it's that chill moment, man. Um, it's one of those things that you could do after being on the road, you know, 300 days a year. That ain't a bad way to uh, to close out your day. So either to do it solo or to, to chill with the boys. Um, Absolutely. It, 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 like I said, man, it's, it's the best way to bring everybody down. Yeah, and for those that don't smoke cigars, I mean, you know, Got to try it. I mean, it doesn't mean you got to inhale. You just exhale. <laughs> <laughs> you can't inhale. You're just going to lose weight the way that you don't want to. Exactly. I, I don't suggest it. I mean, you want to go that route? We're, we're thinking probably both ends, but I would I would tell you not to uh, not to partake in inhaling. Just saying. For sure. Wouldn't do it. For sure. <laughs> we, we told Drew to do that, though, but but that's when we get Sanj to get Drew sick. He he could tell uh, you that story where he turned his ass green. No, no. So the wonder why he's always in the bathroom. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. Drew, you listening? I know you are. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Sanj, Sanj turned him, Sam Houston, and, and Tokyo green. It was great. Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah. I, see, uh, you know, see, I'm not kidding, Tom. Everybody's happy when they turn turn Drew green. So there you go. <laughs> terrible. Just, just terrible people, but it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only oh, time that he gr uh, drew grows gr goes green. Is that right? It's hard to get him to go green unless there's a trick like that. Oh yeah, oh, you get something strong he's not used to. You just uh, you sit back and you watch and you smile. You know, I could have warned him, but <laughs> that, that there was no need to do that. I just enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> so what, what's happening there at uh, at Sanjus tonight? What's what's uh, what's what's it looking like? So yeah, we got some people up front. Hold on, I'll go up with the sticks up. So you got a couple people hanging up front. Today was one of the members' birthday. Carlton, if you recollect, who, uh, who won the coffee, uh, I think, two weeks ago. So it was Carlton's yeah. birthday. So they're all hanging out in the back in the lounge doing, doing their thing. Yes. Um, so they're, they're chilling awesome. back there. And like I said, a, a bunch of folks here. Uh, Jersey's been doing very, very well in getting everyone uh, vaccinated. So, you know, I had my second shot on, uh, on Tuesday. I felt like I got hit by a fucking you know, for three days and then uh, finally started feeling better. Literally, man, that second shot. I thought, you know, I thought I got a Samoan drop from Lloyd, man. My fucking dome was killing me. <laughs> I, uh, just, I yeah, just got today I started feeling normal. Well, normal for me. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I just they just scheduled me for my first shot uh, because I did have the antibody. So I had to wait until a certain time right. in order for them to, to allow me to get it. So they just scheduled me on the 23rd to get my first shot. So I'm kind of waiting to see if it's going to drop me like a bomb or if the second one's going to do it. Some Sometimes people say the first shot is bad and the second one's better or it's vice versa. So I'm looking to see what it's going to do to me, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Both shots were equal opportunists for me, man. For first one was a good, good, good bang to the dome and the, and the second one, a little bit of a fever. Uh, I felt like I got a dead arm and then that massive headache again. But 48 hours, started feeling better. That's awesome, what, man. That's when great. did it click in for you? Was it just like the morning after? When did it happen, Matty? Yeah, literally the, it was the following day. Like The day of getting the shot, in both, I was like, ah, this is a walk in the park. I'm fine. And each, the next day, each morning, woke up with that friggin' nasty headache, man, and that, uh, and that dead arm. So I was like, holy shit. So again, you know, you have that for, for 48 hours, 72 hours. And like I said, by the end of yesterday, I was like, all right, I got shit. But, you know, first first day after was just sheer misery, man. I was like, oh man, it does not feel My wife good. went through the same thing. She works for the hospital and their first shot was 
it was fine. You know, she didn't have too much. She had a little soreness in the arm, but that second one, like you said, it dropped her, man. She, she couldn't even go to work. I mean, she said it felt in her chest. She felt it in her left arm. I mean, of course she got it in her left arm. And uh, I told her, I said, well, where did you get the first one at? She goes in my left arm. I said, you should have switched. <laughs> you know, some people don't do that, but regardless, I think it's going to hit you the same way anyway, you know, but uh, it took her a couple of days before she felt better. But, um, you know, I guess that's what we got to go through to uh, go with this virus and, and hopefully that it'll help us get through it, you know? Yeah, man, like I said, I know especially you guys, I mean, like I said, I'm out in the road 100, 120 days a year, as, as, as so is Tom and you guys, three, 310 days a year. So that's what I try to tell people, just the way that it changed everybody's life and lifestyle and livelihood and, and how you earn it. Just, madness man to you know who would have thunk right last time this shit happened was a hundred years ago you'd have something that would grind grind your entire way of life to to a, a grinding halt so you know me riding you know me riding a desk my biggest traveling day was if i went into the kitchen twice before i went to my home office so it's like crazy it, it was it was kind of funny uh uh when we just did the uh, wrestlemania the wrestle stock um, you know, to be in front of fans for the first time, you know, uh, doing a fan fest like that and uh, just, you know, wondering everybody, you know, everybody, you know, they went with the, the guidelines. They had their masks on and everything. It was up to us in order if we wanted to wear our mask, of course, because people want to take pictures with you. They want to see your face, you know, you know, how wrestling fans are, you know, if you got a mask on. Yeah, but they want to see the visual effect of you. So, I mean, you know, there was a point where, you know. You had the table between you, but also, too, it was up to you. Uh, and I, I took my mask off. I took pictures of people. But, you know, I, uh majority of uh, the older uh, wrestlers out there, they kept their mask on all the time, which I you know, it was a great thing. But uh, it was it was a little weird. You know, it was the first time, like I said, and you didn't know how to react. So you were like, do you shake somebody's hand? Do you get up and hug them and take that picture? So it was totally your discretion. But it's, it's kind of rough. You know, you just got to get back into the swing of things and hopefully that uh, – you know, you shoot for the best. And and this is probably going to be, or it was, this was, what is it? Was it a couple weeks ago? When was WrestleStop? When was it? Uh, it was last weekend. Last weekend. Last weekend. Okay. And this was probably some some uh, people's first time to be out at an event. I mean, they, they made you all their first event. How did that feel? Yeah. You know, it, it was the very first biggest live event for WWE. And yeah. uh, I believe they had, Close to twenty five thousand people. They they claim that they had uh, that they were only selling enough tickets for. But I, I you know, the, the thing was, you just had people from around, you know, the United States that came in because if it was able, people were able to travel internationally. It would have been way bigger, oh, yeah. way way bigger. You know, because the WrestleMania is the 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 mother of, of all mothers. You know, what I mean, <laughs> that's the that's the big show. And seventy thousand, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, if if it was if it was you know if everybody was traveling from around the world, that that stadium would be jam packed. I mean, to the gills. I mean, you'd have eighty thousand people in there, easy. But uh, the people that we did have, you know, they had a couple of things on. They had WrestleCon. They had our stuff going on. But everybody was Larry. You know, everybody picked and choose where they wanted to go. So you know, we did have a good you know turnout. I mean, it wasn't the greatest because you know you couldn't get everybody. You know, but. I mean, for for what it was worth, it was it was good. It was it was a good feel, you know. So hopefully, yeah, as time goes on and everybody be able to get the vaccine and you know feeling a little more comfortable, we'll get more fans out there and get, you know not just get wrestling more back at to where it was, but get life in general back to where it is because we're all suffering. I mean, you know, we're all going out there. We're taking chances. You know, we're we're trying to. Do that six, you know, six feet, you know, the CDC guidelines and all that. It's it's rough, especially when you want to be around people you love, around people you're you, you're you're being around all the time. Like uh, if I was to go see Maddie, you know, right there, I, I'm sorry, but I just can't do six feet because that's my brother. You know what I mean? I I just I feel like you know I, I just I got to give him that that hug, that Simone hug that we always give each other. You know what I mean? So it's kind of funny that way, and and that's totally up to me. You know, and that's totally up to him. But I, I know for a fact, for me, I don't care. He's my brother. I'm going to give him a hug regardless. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Who's getting a hug, man? Who's is getting a hug? For sure, <laughs> man. But, I mean, it's just that, that you know, everybody's got to get comfortable, I guess. It's just something we have to adjust ourselves to and continue adjusting to. Yeah. 
It would be it'd be tough for anyone to stay uh, six feet away from Matty Rock, I would think. Yeah, of I course. Think yeah. Wanna, I think most people want to stay twelve feet away from me. So the well, there, feet, there, there might be a few. It wasn't that strange for me. It's like Matt, a little further back. Good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right. There, he may have he may have a short list of people that do, but uh, most most of us like to uh, to be around him. So now, as we look at uh, how people can find you, Lloyd, uh, if they want to uh, look at you, whenever you're going to be uh, available for bookings for showing up places, just to check out what you're doing, where's the best place for him to go? Well, I mean, I'm on all three. Uh, well, there's more uh, uh, social media sites, but uh, I'm on Facebook uh, at uh, my real name, Lloyd Anawai. Uh, that's A and as Nancy O A I. You can look me up. Uh, I'm on uh, Twitter at the uh, Lloyd Anawai Great Alofa was one of my wrestling names, and also on Instagram at L A Smooth Lowercase. Uh, I'm sorry, L A Smooth. Uh, lowercase line on the bottom, great Alofa, and you can catch me on Instagram and see where I'll be next. And just, you know, if you want to chat or even send me a message, I'm open. I try to answer everybody as much as I can. It's always good to keep that, you know, that that response with the, the fans and, and, and everything and, and try to answer as much as we can. You know, we got to stay out there as much as we can. Absolutely. He was just being modest, too, so he's done a lot of acting also. So some of my guys out yeah, there. Yeah, like yeah. And Actually, it's funny you said that. Guy. Yeah, it's funny you said that because I have a couple of uh, movies in line. Hopefully, if uh, once the UK opens up, I'm supposed to be doing uh, myself and uh, one of the hand headbangers. Uh, uh, we're actually uh, supposed to be doing a uh, movie in uh, England. And once that opens up, we'll be able to do that. Then I'm doing another one in Utah. Uh, and then got some other stuff coming up. I just did an audition right before I got my surgery done for a movie uh, with uh, Jennifer Lopez called... Um, uh, shotgun wedding and that's supposed to start filming sometime in june in santa domingo so i didn't get a yes a yay or a nay on it i'm still waiting for my uh for my talent agent to let me know if they're going with it but if it goes then uh hopefully in june i'll be in santa domingo doing what i do best <laughs> amazing all kinds of places what's this uh, movie in england gonna be what's what's the uh what's what's that gonna be all about uh, it's basically about. It's almost. Uh, it's. I don't. I don't want to say similar to uh, the one with Paige, where she was younger and uh, you know she became a wrestler. This one is about a, a family, and uh, it's a. It's about a gentleman that actually his son loves wrestling, and his son he wants his son to look up to him a little bit better than just being a dad. He wants him to, to be this superstar, just like a wrestler. So uh, it's it's a pertaining to a, a family, a, a wrestling. Uh, movie about a family about a, a father trying to get the, the love from of his son to become a professional wrestler uh it's called wrestle rama and uh it's gonna be uh shot in england like i said uh they already started filming but then they got shut down so hopefully if everything picks up we can go over there and do our parts and uh you know and see how it works out i think it's gonna be a good movie it's, it's a good storyline i i enjoy it's got some uh it's got some little sad you know, situation, but it's mostly, uh, you know, uh, comic c comedy. That's that's amazing. This name, L.A. Smooth. I know that's one of the names that you uh, have gone by. What's the story behind that? How did you become uh, L.A. Smooth? It's <laughs> funny because uh, you know when we were in. Uh, all right, cut two. Uh, when it was in. Uh, He'll come back. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, well, when we were in, uh, 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 I'm sorry, ECW, we started in ECW in 1998 and 99, and uh, we were trying to come up with a name because my brother Sam came up with the name uh, Sammy Silk, and then my cousin Maddie came up with the move, uh, the name Maddie Smalls, which he wasn't small at all, but you know, it kind of fit. You know, they 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 liked it. Paul uh, Paul Dangerously, Paul E, Paul Heyman. Uh, he he liked it, and so they were trying to come up with a name with me. So I'm like, all right, what are we gonna do? We got Sammy Silk, we got Maddie Smalls. So I put my two initials, Lloyd on a lot. You know, I was like, oh. I said, let's do L A Smooth, and then the name stuck from there. I like it. I like it. It's it's smooth. It's uh, it sounds very Hollywood. It's it works. That's that's awesome. And now all these movies, more to come. Are there uh, any films that are anywhere right now we can stream or watch you in, or are there any uh? Anything we would want to check out your already in that we would want to see? 
Yeah, I did. Um, I did quite a bit of uh, small parts in movies when I was younger, like uh, uh, Law and Order. I did, uh, you know, some small parts. But I was also uh, my dad trained Mickey Rourke for the movie The Wrestler, which uh, you know uh, okay. Andrew Anderson is in it, and yeah. uh, my. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, if they want to stream, they can see the wrestler with Mickey Rourke and they can see me in the locker room uh, scene. And also, too, I uh, was on MTV. Uh, they don't have it on MTV anymore, but it was called Silent Library. And I did a part on Silent Library and they said it was the most gross, uh, you know, uh, Silent Library did. I mean, it was a good one, but it was a little gross. <laughs> I played a sumo wrestler and uh, this gentleman had to eat sushi off my body. And let's put it this way: the last piece of sushi he had to find, he did not want to eat it. <laughs> but uh, uh, also, too, uh, <laughs> you, uh, look at how proud you are too of that. You're like, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, it, was, it was fun, man. I had I had the producer in my ear, and he was telling me, "Wait for it, not yet, not yet." And then when he had to eat that last piece, uh, the guy just they had the bucket right there ready for him. I enjoyed it. I mean, I got a little mad at him because he. He up chucked on my foot, and I here I am barefooted, and I and I'm in this sumo thing, and the next thing you know, I got stuff all over my leg. I I wanted to come out of character and just slap him, but I was like, you know what? I'll stay in character and, and continue this. But I had a great time doing that, and uh, also um, I just got finished doing the trailer for my cousin's movie, uh, which came out last year, Hobbs and Shaw, and uh, me and Roman were in that. You know, it was uh, for Brisk yeah. uh, T, and it was actually the trailer for uh, the movie. So I enjoy doing that, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing a lot more. Like I said, it's just they just keep bringing them in, and I'll keep taking them. Incredible. I mean, when, for this for the whole sushi setup, though, is besides the movie, did that open up any doors for you as far as anybody hiring you really wanting you to do that? For uh, for being for being a, 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 like a bot like a, a sushi a body table, has anybody hired you to do that after the movie? I mean, maybe. That maybe it would open some doors for a new career for you there. Is it? <laughs> I, far from it. Far from it, my brother. <laughs> I think that now would keep doors closed. Though, I don't like, think that's I don't think that's gonna open doors. I think that's gonna close doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So many, so many good okay. What was the sushi movie? We gotta we gotta look for that one. That's uh was it, it was called? actually, uh, if you can see it on, uh, if you search YouTube, you can see it on, it's called Silent Library, MTV's Silent Library, and it says uh, Sushi Eating, and, and I mean, you can't miss it, it's just hilarious. I it feel like, good. I feel like coming out of COVID, it's going to be a while before anybody that has a career in that uh, maybe, maybe gets hired, so who knows? Uh, so yeah. that's, that's amazing. So many good opportunities, uh, so much, so much stuff, it sounds like, uh, Coming your way, I see uh, see some laughter. Chairman Lai, a lot of good people watching. Irene, thanks everyone for uh, for watching uh, Bourbon Blog Live tonight. And uh, again, make sure you take a chance to like this, share this. We are here uh, every Saturday night uh, around this same time at, on Bourbon Blog Live. We've been doing it for over a year now, and uh, we we've, we're lucky to have some. We've had some great wrestlers. It's so much fun to have you too, Lloyd. We've uh, we've made it a theme here. Hey, hey, that's great. I mean, because you get all types of, uh, you know, people on Bourbon Block Live. Like you said, every Saturday, uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you guys for having me on the show. Oh, and no, I, you know, I don't mind doing it again. Whenever you guys want to talk about anything else, hey, feel free to hit me up. If I'm available, I'll come on here. I'll shoot the shit with you. You know, go ahead and talk about some other stuff. But, uh, you know, for you guys watching you know, tune in every Saturday with my man, Maddie, and, uh, you know, just both of you guys, you guys have been great. And, uh, you know, every Saturday night I will be watching and, you know, you might see me type a little bit here and there, you know, ask some questions myself. Uh, but, uh, you know, just do me one favor, that. just one, yeah. one favor. Yeah. All, I, all I ask for you, one favor, just don't put Andrew Anderson on, please. I'm begging. Oh, it could happen. It could happen again. Oh. He even surprised me. I, I even thought he might jump on this one because sometimes he's just showed up and uh, surprised me. It happened. I, I saved you from this one. This, <laughs> guess who was on the phone with 10 minutes before this? Sags. Oh, was he? Oh, Lord. I saw him this Saturday, uh, last Saturday, too. Uh, he's too much. Those guys, you can't get those guys together. I mean, they're like they're like uh, three little kids when you get them all three. Him, Sags, and Nobs, forget it. 
They're unbelievable. But uh, Andrew, if you're listening, man, you know I love you, brother. I'm just joking. You know, we had a great time last weekend, and uh, I look forward to, you know, us doing some more signings and, you know, traveling and doing some stuff, man. And uh, all jokes aside, man, one love always. Yes, yes. And and you get to see so many people at WrestleStock uh, from – the wrestling crowd, anybody that you haven't seen yet out of uh, the last 13, 14 months that you're really looking forward to seeing in the, uh, in the, in the, in the wrestling gang that you haven't seen recently. I mean, there's a lot of them. I mean, uh, just before, like I said, the, the COVID hit, uh, I was in um, Qatar and I won their heavyweight championship belt over there. And I had a, a four way match against uh, Alberto Del Rios, myself, uh, Rob Van Dam, which is now just has been inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame. Congratulations to him because it's well yeah. deserved. And uh, also uh, with a gentleman uh, that I knew since he was 16 years old. Actually, he had his first wrestler match with my brother in Austria. He's from Austria. His name is Chris the Bambi Killer, and he's he's like a Hulk Hogan in in in, in Europe. Uh, great guy. Uh, you know, I, I love him to death. I call him my little brother. So it was a four way. Of course, I ended up beating Rob Van Dam. And I'm sorry, Rob, I ended up breaking three of his ribs on a Samoan drop. Uh, but, you know, hey, a win is a win. And uh, I came away with the belt and, uh, you know, enjoyed them. But uh, I do miss uh, seeing a lot of guys like I used to see Ray Mysterio all the time, you know, and, uh, you know, Bobby Lashley, which uh, also has the WWE uh, uh, championship right now. And uh, all those guys I was on the road with, I miss seeing those guys. Of course, right now they're all holed up because Vince McMahon keeps them an, in his little bubble. You know, you got to keep them safe, you know, for what he's trying to do. But I, I do miss seeing a lot of those guys. So hopefully, uh, you know, you never know. You might see me there. You might see me anywhere. You know, I might be uh, doing something for WWE. You never know. Well, we'll see as time goes on. As you as you look towards uh, the future, obviously, as as we're getting back together for uh, wrestling matches, whether it's WrestleMania, whatever it might be, uh, what what are you most looking forward to? Uh, just about the future of uh, wrestling, and even the future of the um, the Samoan family. What are you What are you looking forward to? Well, I mean, for the wrestling part, uh, I look forward to being around everyone. You know, enjoying being around the boys. Uh, you know, the fans, number one, being there to entertain the fans and give them what they want, give them what they want to see. Uh, family wise, I love my family. I, I get I get to see my family. You know, some of them are a lot of them are in California, you know, not traveling a lot. So uh, when that beautiful day comes where we can all reunite and and be together and do our you know, we, we were supposed to do a family reunion this year. But because of COVID, of course, it had to be, uh, you know, this change to another date. So hopefully soon, I'm praying soon that we can have our family reunion. We can all be together and, and, you know, and just continue enjoying each other and loving each other. Like we always do. Cause we're a loving family as Maddie, you know how we are. We're all close and uh, there's nothing like family. I'll tell you. And I miss my family dearly. And um, you know, hope, hopefully when that day comes, like I said, we could all reunite and put a couple in, you know, have a few drinks and enjoy ourselves. And, uh, and with the fans, when the wrestling starts 100%, I can't wait to get in that ring and, uh, you know, entertain for uh, all the, you know, the fans that want to see wrestling. Yeah, Absolutely. man. And I think uh, I think when restrictions start to loosen up and more and more people are vaccinated in the, uh, the quote, herd immunity thing, I think people are going to yeah. come out in scores because people miss the value of entertainment now more than ever. So. I've said it in a whole Absolutely. bunch of other shows before. The fact that things that we took for granted every day, we don't take them for granted anymore. Um, you know, going out to a show, going out to see your favorite wrestlers, uh, being around people, enjoying their company. It's, it's just crazy. Um, we never imagined a world without it. So now we actually we learned an important lesson of how, you know, yeah. of all these things that we've taken for granted. And I think you said it the best. And the best way is the Samoan dynasty, is you could see. And you know, family's always together, always on the road, always doing different things. And you can see how not, not just the wrestling community, but the Samoan dynasty itself. You know, everybody's kind of sad to stay, you know, hunkered down a bit. Um, you know, nobody's been able to go out. And like I said, especially on the on the indie circuit, you can't do what WWE was able to do and be able to yeah. keep pumping money in and have, you know, I'll call them a club for lack of a better better words. I'll call it a closed set where everybody's checked and close set. So 
you know, it's a whole new world, man. No house shows, you know, people who don't really understand the business um, don't understand. These dudes are on the road 300 plus days a year. So sure, you see them when you tune in on TV. But, dude, after that's done, it's, you know, five, six days a week, maybe with one day off. But if Vince has you booked, you're, you're, you're wrestling, man. So I've known, yeah. you know, Lloyd will tell you there's sometimes these dudes, you know, in a 31 day month, they, they might be doing 28 days. If the, everybody's booked between house shows, uh, special appearances, so it's just crazy how much that's changed. Everyone talks about you know how much their lives have changed for for wrestling and entertainment. I mean, holy crap, man! I can't fathom. Like I said, if I'm on the road 100 to 120 days, I can't rem- I can't imagine almost triple that and just you know snap and it's done. It's just crazy. Yeah, and especially you know when they have the big events, especially like WrestleMania, you have your uh, all your pay per views. I mean, I'll, I can I can tell you a good, uh, well, a, a little story, but it's a good story. Uh, I was on my way to uh, Germany, and um, next thing you know, I'm sitting there and I feel somebody grab me on the shoulder in the airport. Now, who the hell am I gonna? I mean, of course, anybody would come up to me and say hello, but this person, big claw, just grabbed me on my shoulder, spun me around, and here I am, and I put my fist up like this. Here it is, Batista. We trained Batista, you know, I'm very close friends with him. And he turned around. I was like, he started laughing. He's like, dude, he goes, don't knock me out. Uh, you know, so here he is. He just got done, just finished TV. And the next day, he's on flight to Germany to go uh, promote WrestleMania. So here we are. We're both on this flight and we're catching this overnight flight. And next, you know, uh, you know, with uh, his help, I was and I ended up getting on this uh, this uh 50 uh 50 person uh jet which uh they had it on in uh <laughs> for uh Lufthansa and ended up riding with him because we were going to the same area in Germany so we had you know we sh- shot shit talked a little bit and everything but just so it goes to show you how how it is you know you can be at a show one day and they say all right next day you're on a plane you're going to Germany you have to produce this you have to do this have to do that so like Maddie says you're on the road constantly you don't really know where they're going to put you at you know you can be home for a day and uh, I, I, I believe Braun Strowman told this story on uh, one of his biographies they did for him, uh, where he was at home and he had just arrived home. And then they called him up and said, we need you here tomorrow. And he's like, what do you mean? They called him up because that's when my cousin Roman couldn't come in for WrestleMania. And they said, we need you to work against Brock Lesnar. So that just goes to show you, he just got home. And they called him up and they had to fly him out the next day. So, you know, you never know in the wrestling business, you know, you can, you, you never know when you have time. That time you do have off, it's not really time off because if they want you somewhere, they're going to have you there. They're paying you for it. So you got to be there. So it's the life we live and, you know, but it's the life that we enjoy and we love. When we have that time with our family, we take that time and, you know, really, keep it, you know, and try to do the best we can to spend that quality time with our families. But at the same time, we have to go out there and make money for our families so we can live, you know, take care of our kids, take care of our wives and everything. So it's 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 a 50-50 thing, you know. Your family's got to understand when you have to be on the road, what you have to go through, and, uh, you know, and then when you have that time with your family, take advantage of it. That's right. That's right. And, we, and, and that's so well said. And it's been it's been good to be with uh, the family and to be at home, but of course we're all looking forward to uh, being back out on the road uh, very soon. Uh, again, best place to check out uh, Lloyd Atawahi. I'm going to show you once again. Just search for him on social media. He's on all the social medias, yes. and um, check him out. Follow him on Twitter, on the Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, and. Um, Again, book Marcus on bourbonblong.com forward slash live. As always, all of our interviews are up on anchor.fm forward slash bourbonblong if you're not already uh, on our uh, podcast. And uh, Lloyd, thank you again so much uh, for uh, for being here with us on uh, Cigar Saturday. Hey, I didn't see I didn't see Sanj tonight. What's is Sanj still? Is he, is he, is he, what's Sanj, Sanj doing? Tom is requesting your presence, Sanj. If he usually comes. He usually has a few words to work. He said yes. He's coming. Well, uh, he usually has. Uh, he has usually gives a quick. What's happening, Sanj? Very. <laughs> How are you, Tom? Nice to so, see you. Sanj. So we decided. Maddie and I decided.
Samoan's going to get fucked up named Lloyd. Oh, because, you know, uh, Sanj wants to have that wrestling here, man. So he, oh, wants, yes. he, wants, he says he wants to beat up you and Drew, dude. You, yeah. you, you down, Lloyd? Oh, yeah. Andrew's okay. Getting it. Andrew's going to get it. Okay, well, Sanj, I may make uh, you know, I may make that come uh, to live real quick because oh, I do time, have brother, a doctor. Anytime, we on. <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment on the twenty second, so that's what in uh, Listen, maybe like four days it. or five days. So maybe you know, hopefully, I can you know come see you, but uh, you won't see me coming. Trust me. <laughs> I'll be right here waiting for you. And Maddie, yeah, you're right there. There. welcome to come home. See here, here's All the right. problem though. I think everyone's going to turn on Andrew at once. It's just going to be a fucking pummeling. Oh, Andrew's getting <laughs> fucked up. Andrew's getting <laughs> fucked up here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Drew, if you're watching this, I feel sorry for you, man. You got He knows. I, he knows. I, he knows. Uh-oh. I told you, Lloyd. Yeah, Sanji's just, just happiest day is when he turned Andrew as green as fucking grass. Him and Sam Houston <laughs> in Tokyo yeah. liter literally were dropping to a knee. He goes... He goes, hey, Sanj, give us something, you know, that's not going to kick our ass. And Sanj's like, you you tough guys? No. And he goes, yeah, yeah, just make sure it's something, you know. We'll, we'll be fine. Nah. Nah, he fucked those guys up. They were puking. I didn't even have to hit him. I didn't have to even hit him. Uh, one quitter hitter, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. And we're out. So as we uh, now remember when everything gets healed up here. So in the back, and Tom knows, and Lloyd, we spoke about it a while ago, pre-COVID, uh, we're going to have matches here because literally there's enough room for a ring in the back and 250 okay. people. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Is, is Sanj yeah. going to get a permanent ring just put in the back there? Is that that's what's going to happen, right? And the, and the, and the only sushi people going to eat off your body is fucking my, my flesh. <laughs> your, your flesh. Oh, damn. I'm going to knock them teeth out and I'm going to get some blood here. He's yeah, tiny, uh, I guess he's, he's he's a tiny Indian, but he's sneaky and shit. I'm just saying. I see this. Wow, he's he's, yeah. sneak, he's sneaky, Lloyd. Don't man. don't let him fool you, man. He might be talking smack, but he'll live up to it, man. Yeah, that's, that's all right. But to me, to me, right now, uh, to to me right now, Sanj, you look you you look a little bit too light to fight too thin to win, brother. My <laughs> man, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was light. I'm saying where is Bruce Lee? 147 pounds, soaking wet, baby. Bring it. <laughs> oh damn! My left leg weighs that much. That's all right. Bring it. <laughs> you gotta watch out, man. He's gonna he's gonna be all like Indian Bobby Heenan and shit. And pull pull some dust out. Blow that shit in your eyes and hey. stuff. Uh oh, so, uh oh. <laughs> Jean, Jean, listen, Jim Snitsky. He said, "I'm gonna scare your son." My son at that time was five years old, right? And Jim comes in with the long ass beard. I said, "Jim, he's gonna fuck you up. This kid's nuts." Right, he said, "Now, nah, man, every kid's afraid of me." So Gene hides in the back and comes out. How my son ran to him and kicked him right in his nuts. Ask Maddie. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the best part is Gene's like, "It's not going like this, kid." So he picks him up by his foot. Any other kid would be screaming. He's upside down. And he's laughing. He's like, ah, 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 "I'm not scared of you, dude." Hung upside down. So you know, and like I said, Lloyd, Lloyd and Snitsy go back way, way long time. Oh yeah. His, his family trained Gene. That shows you how all interconnected everybody yes. is. So literally oh, saw his son hanging by one foot. Gene's like, you sure tough now? He's like, I'll fight you. I ain't scared. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. And, and what, Gene's what, six eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gene, Gene makes me look like a baby, so yeah. Yeah, all bit of six foot eight, and uh, I mean, I, I'm surprised. You must have a tough kid there. And uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I can tell your son next time he hits Gene in the nuts, he can tell him, it's not my fault. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you're listening, Gene. Love you, bro. Yes, sir. I love you always. <laughs> and we have to give a shout out because you you brought up Batista, one of the coolest wrestling moms ever. Lloyd will attest who's cooler than Donna Batista, right? Yes. Oh my God, Miss. I call her Mama Batista because she's the best. I mean, she. Oh, I. I love her to death. We we've had conversations on the phone for hours, and we just talk. And she's just. She's like anybody else's. If you don't have a mom and you need somebody to talk to, she is the person to talk to. But she'll keep it straight and forward with you. But she's one of the best. I love her. If she's on. Love you, Mama Batista. Always, you know, and I can't hold, hopefully I get to see you. I mean, I'm going to try to go see your son sometime soon if he ever answers his phone. But, you know, uh, <laughs> oh, you heard that. come on, DJ. 
Yeah, come on, come on, DJ. I only live like uh, thirty-five minutes from you, so you know you're not too far from me. <laughs> so we we had to give a shout out to you, Don. I hope you're listening. Mwah. Yes, uh, yes, for sure. Now, 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 Tom, we're we're on the Bourbon Show. I didn't even ask you what you're drinking today. Uh, yes, I'm I'm actually having a uh, a cocktail of Blood Orange Manhattan, uh, and I'm I'm doing a little of the actually at the moment I'm having a little of the uh, Pappy. Uh, the Pappy cigar, the Family Reserve cigar, and you, what do you have there, uh, Manny? Outstanding. So, like I said, adult beverages. I leave up to you guys to stay. I'm pretending to be kind of a classy guy, drinking my my little uh, my little girly Vossi, my Raspberry Rose, right? See, trying trying to keep it classy, and of course, I got my little uh, my pork belly fired up here, the Liga pork belly, which is like a little yes. little baby Liga Nine. We all know I'm a Liga Nine whore. So keeping it with being a hoe, I, I love it. I, I got a little uh, a little something in here. I can't tell you what it is because you can't see it, but uh, it starts with a T and it ends with an A. Ah. And it's a nice smooth tequila. <laughs> ah, yeah. Little mosh tequila, babies. Yes, uh, I got a little. What the hell? Let's try it. You know, I got a little Terramana in here. You know what I mean? Got to give a shout out to as uh, Dwayne Salud. for his uh, great Terramana uh, tequila he's got out. If you haven't tried it, you got to try it. it, it I, I'm going to tell you, I, I like tequila, but it's smooth. And uh, if you ever get a chance to drink it on the rocks with a little twist of lime, that's all you need. It is It is a great tequila. And he's, I think uh, it was uh, last year he sent a, a record for an, an, a, the most tequila sold by a new brand. So, uh, Absolutely. Uh, it's it's well done. It's remarkable. I mean, uh, everybody is all about the Terramana, the Terramana, and it speaks for itself. It does. It really does. As as tequila, is that a, if you're settling down after a day of finding, has tequila always been a good go-to for you? or? Uh... Yeah, or that, or a nice, you know, uh, glass of whiskey on the rocks, you know what I mean? It, it doesn't hurt, man. And also, you know, a little stogie here and there, like uh, as soon as I get my care package from my brother Maddie right there, I will sit on my front porch and sit there and smoke it up, and I will personally send you a live video. When are you back in PA, Us? I'm actually, uh, I got to be there on the 22nd. I have another appointment to just make sure the hip is all good to go, and uh, so I'll be there on the 22nd, which is in, what, four days. All right, so we'll hopefully I'll get to see you when you're up here then. Go make Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and this time I'll be with no walker. <laughs> well, he'll, he'll make you some more moves, a walker stomp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we got one frozen. I don't know if he froze it up or what. He'll be back, I guess. Tom, Tom, Tom you done frozen us, dude. But yeah, so you'll be up for how long, Moose? Uh, maybe about three or four days or something like that. All right, good. I got to make sure I come see you then before I got uh, – I'm bouncing over to Virginia on uh, on Friday. Coming to see you, Brett. So we got one of our one of our first events in uh, in 15 months down in Tobaccoology, down in uh, Haymarket, Virginia, Cigars for Warriors mm. event. Uh, great shop, great honor. Brett, you're out there. I'll see you soon, my brother. Oh, oh here – Here's the return of Tom. I see, yeah. He it's said the return of Tom. Back. Tom, <laughs> is back. Back. Tom is back. I am back. Yes, Maddie. What's uh? What are we looking at next week? What's uh? What's so? As a matter, what you... so as a matter of fact, since next week is uh, <clears throat> when you just flickered out, I will be back on the road for the first time in a long time, and our and our special guest will be Mr. Brett Fry uh, from Tobaccoology. Um, yeah. So. Great guy, Sanj. Sanj knows him well. He will probably pop on to shit talk him. Look at that. Uh, there, there you go. Oh, there's <laughs> There it is. <laughs> That's Mr. my son Batman underneath. He had no. He had no fear. He thought it was fun. Wow. That's awesome. So, so his son, you can't even threaten. So, you know, it's kind of shitty. If you can't threaten him with somebody who's six eight and three hundred pounds, I'm not really sure what what you could do. Eat your food. Yeah. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, well, we've tried our best. We've threatened them with, with Snitsky. So after that, Gene's like, it's not my fault. I'm like, I, it's not. We, we can't threaten this kid. doesn't work. Yeah. But uh, so we'll be visiting Brett. So I will be on the road. So it'll be the beginning of Around the Block with Maddie Rock as I start to, uh, as I start to travel again. 
So we'll be uh, we'll be on different locations with our guests. So and again, be pretty you'll, cool. be, you'll be where again? Where will you be, Matty? It's in uh, it's in Haymarket, Virginia, and it's called Tobacology. So um, all my cigar peeps who are in that part of the country, out in Virginia, check out Tobacology. Event is uh starts next Saturday. I'll be on the road on Friday to get there. Uh, I'll be a little crawfish boil action going. So. You know, bring your appetite, a great event uh, for charity, for Cigars for Warriors. And as we've spoken about on the show before, yes. all of our all of our men and women out there taking care of us. It's it's one of the best ways we could give back. So anybody who's in active areas, uh, we drop ship them cigars. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So, exactly, man. So anything to give them a little bit of the creature comforts of home. And believe it or not, that and coffee are the number one things that uh, our men and women in uniform mm -hmm. ask for. Uh, so... Anybody who wants to help donate, help it out. Tom just put a perfect timing. Cigarsforwarriors.org, uh, 501C, nonprofit organization. Um, and I think to date, we've shipped over a million cigars into, uh, wow. into active service areas to take care of our service men and women uh, around the globe. So something that's very, very near and dear to us, something we take a lot of pride in. And it's a great way to say thank you for what you've done for us, giving us our liberty and freedoms and, you know, any small way that we can give back and help. Thank you for what you've done. And uh, and Brett, thank you for having that event. So we look forward to it. Absolutely. Yes, it's, it's great. It's it's uh, it's it's just an honor that you guys are doing that. Uh, we have the, uh, you know, the privilege to uh, actually, I did for seven years, I did the uh, military tours. Uh, you know, we went entertained for the military. We went all over. I mean, we went to Afghanistan, Uzbekistan. We've been to Turkey. I mean, we went all over to go and to entertain for our troops. And, you know, it was for the military, for the Pentagon. They would give us our contracts to go over there. But you know what? To be honest with you, if they were to call me tomorrow and say, hey, we need you to go and boost up the morale and, and do the uh, the MRW uh, shows again, they wouldn't have to send me a dime. I would do it for free because that's how much respect I have for our military, for what I've seen in the last seven years going over there and entertaining, you know, for them. It, it bring a lot of tears to my eyes. I've seen a lot of things over there. I've seen grown men cry in front of me, and I cried with them, you know, just to show, you know, every man every man cries, you know what I mean? And, you know, there's, there's families over there that have not even seen their families, you know, that they haven't even went home. They went straight from Desert Storm over to Afghanistan or Afghanistan, something, you know, so they're ready to go home, but they're over there and they're fighting for our country and you can't do nothing but praise them and, and thank them so much for putting their lives on the line for us to sleep great at night here in, you know, in, in the United States and America, just to, 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 you know, it's just heart touching. I got films and films of, of being over there and just being with all these guys. And there's one gentleman that I'll never forget. And it kind of brings me emotional right now. His name is Scooby. And I'll never forget that name because he was out and we were in Afghanistan. We couldn't entertain for them, but we were allowed to go out. We landed 3.30 in the morning over there because, you know, you can't fly during the daytime because, you know, of, of, of restrictions. So when we got there, we were able to go out and see everybody out in the field. You know, they had somebody. We followed them. They showed us where to go, where they were, you know, where stationed at. And this one gentleman, he was sitting right by a, a, a big bowl. Never forget it. And he got up and he introduced himself. And I had to put my infrared on my on my video camera. Introduced ourselves. He introduced himself. He says, I'm Scooby. And he goes, oh, man. He goes, I can't believe this. And you just had to see his face. And he just started crying. And the first words that came out of his mouth, he goes, I thought they forgot about us. And I just saw the tears. And behind the camera, I was, I was crying myself because... Just to see, you know, these men, they're ready to go home, but at the same time, they're willing to put their life on the line so we can sleep great at night. And, and you can't do nothing but praise them. So my hat's off to the, every military, from the Marines to the Army to the uh, the Navy to all, all military branches. Thank you so much. From me, from my family, from everybody here. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Absolutely, Use. Absolutely. So anything we can... Uh... We give back much love to you for it, for what you and the boys have done and the girls have done uh, in wrestling to give them some morale and happiness and uh, anything that we can give back, we, we try to do our best. So moving forward, like I said, when all of us are getting back out there, you know, Sanj is a huge, uh, huge, huge Cigars for Warriors shop here. Uh, we frequently do events here where we raise capital and, and cigars for them. 
Um, so it's all about giving back to the people who basically give everything for us so we can have our rights and our way of life. And we, we never forget that. And uh, any way we can show uh, love, respect, and, and, and gratitude, we, we try to do such. That's amen to that. Amen. Yes. Yes. And that event, again, is uh, next week. Is that an event that still people could come to if they're in that region, Maddie? Or is it already? I believe, I believe it's, a, it's a free event. You could, Anybody out there, go online. Go uh, Especially on Facebook. It's easiest to find. Go look for Tobacology. Uh, it's, the store that, it's the store that's in Haymarket, Virginia. And you'll see, uh, and you'll see the event listed up there. Uh, I believe it's uh, twelve o'clock on uh, starts. I believe at twelve could be eleven, but twelve o'clock on Saturday, I believe. But definitely hit the Facebook page. You'll see it. And like I said, uh, proprietor and owner of the shop, Brett Fry. He's, he's family. Uh, Sanj and I love to kid around a lot. But like we can't tell you how much we love the dude. And uh, if you're watching, Brett, we love you, man. We'll catch you next week. I like it. And the, and the best part, after that, yeah. Jerry Springer will be there. White trash. <laughs> Brett, I oh. love you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Brett, if you're not on, it might be good because Sanj may be paying a special, uh, no, no, special no, no, no. Spe might be a special guest. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll <laughs> surprise you. <laughs> you can already see the trash talk cloud forming. The big fucking thunderstorm <laughs> clap. <laughs> I know it's hard to I know it's hard to believe us trash talking, but it's 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 true. I back it up. I back it up. Whenever you feel, you know, come around. I'm here, or tell me where you at. I'll come there. I like spam. Oh boy. Uh -oh. I, so so shit to be coming down. Like I said, definitely glad to uh to be back on the road. And like I said, we will start uh, being on the road with guests. And as Tom gets back on the road. And yes. I think, uh, and I think, guys and gals, just a reminder too. Um, as Tom's getting ramped up to go back on the road, you can still reach out to Tom. Still does private events and private tastings, much like the way what we're doing here in right. a Zoom thing. Of course, smaller events we are still able to do, mostly without restriction. So I'm, I'll, I'll let you take it from there to fill everybody in. Let, we do something. Yeah, we still, do, we do. we're hosting a virtual bourbon and whiskey and spirit tastings. We even do some tequila and mezcal tastings. Uh, we have ways that we work with companies that send the spirits to you and we can walk it through for your business, your private gathering uh, virtually. Uh, look look at bourbonblog.com forward slash tastings. And I'll be back on the road in the next uh, few weeks as well uh, coming to you. So uh, take a look at that. Uh, bookmark that link. Share with people you think that might enjoy it. So here we go. Lloyd, we always do something special, right? Every week we do something special. How many Great. people? How many people that touch you here when you when you did the tour? Give me a number. It was, I I couldn't even give you a number because all of them. Give me still. Give me a number. Like the most most memorable people that touch you. I understand all of them, but yeah, something that at least, something at least, that, at least at least twenty. All right. So guess what? Twenty. We're gonna donate. 200 cigars, the cigars for Warrior. Maddie will bring it there just for you, Lloyd. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, that that's that's awesome, man. That's that's great, Anytime. man. Anytime. My pleasure. That'll be that'll be in your you. name via Sanj, Lloyd. So much Absolutely. love, man. Uh, oh, thank you so much, 100%. man. That, that means a lot. That is, that's awesome. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. I'm still thank kicking you. your ass, though. Don't fucking get twisted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. I told you, man, it, might, it might be little, but he's sneaky and shit. Like I said, the only the only saving grace, I'm sure about five minutes into the match, everyone's turning on Andrew. Yeah. So A <laughs> A's A is gonna get jumped pretty hardcore. I'm just saying. Yeah. Again, Sanj, thank you again. But like I said, I I will cancel your Christmas, so don't break plans for Christmas, all right? <laughs> Listen, I'm right here and Maddie knows where I'm at. You know what? You could come to the house. I got a huge yard. We're fucking rumble over there. All right. First, you got to feed me first. You got to make some That's Indian no food. No problem. No problem. Oh, yeah. That's no problem. That's my second nature. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we're we don't eat meat. Oh, that's all right. Hey, I, 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 as long as you got some some rice and some balsamic rice and some, uh, uh, you know, the, the curries, I'm good to go. Absolutely. My wife's a great cook. Awesome. I'm an asshole. I'm bringing steak. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, we know I'm an asshole. I just can't help it. I'll, and I'll bring the whiskey to help whoever needs to heal. That's Maybe it. it's everyone. Absolutely. Tom, well, Tom's going to the opportunity. Sandra, whoever needs the whiskey Sandra's going to need the whiskey. Sandra's going to need the whiskey. After, need the whiskey. After, yeah, he's going to need it after I put that ass whooping on him. Listen, <laughs> talk is cheap, bro. I'm here at 419 Broad Street. Anytime, any day, you let me know. Oh, that sounds like a mic it. drop right there. That's it. Oh, Good there you team, go. Bro. Boom. He dropped the mic on me. And, and just like I'm going to drop the Samoan drop on him. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, hey, it's a great line from Goodfellow. Telephone time. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, right. it's, it's on like Donkey Kong, Sanj. We got it going on. Don't worry about it. Absolutely, brother. <laughs> all right, brother. <laughs> Uh, it's it's great to see all of you, uh, Lloyd. It's uh, wonderful to have you on the show. And and again, uh, you. Over, yes, brother. It's so nice to have you, and look forward to hopefully seeing you in person at one of your events. And we'll uh, we'll bring whiskey to you. We'll we'll, we'll make it make it happen again. That's where to find uh, oh, yeah. uh, Lloyd Anawaii online. Just look look him up on social media. Make sure you follow us on social media and. Um, Maddie, Saj, we will see you all uh, next week. We'll see you from, well, I guess we could, Maddie won't be the exact same place as Saj, but we could still, uh, we could still bring you on Saj through, uh, through uh, the, um, through the power virtual. of technology. We'll yeah. have everybody back. Absolutely. On. Yeah. yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Cheers, gentlemen. So good to have you. Much love, everybody. Good night. See you soon. Peace. Much love, everybody. Cheers. You too. Right.